Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. We're talking faux stitch lines. Alright, you can do this and this will give you just a little dash line, okay? And the way we used to do it, you can't do it anymore. You can't just click this. It does not work. You cannot come up here into shadow effects. It does not do anything for you, okay? So we're going to actually come in here and do something a little bit different. Let's move this down and out of our way. Grab this little rectangle. Make it the size of dash you want. Okay. That looks good right there. Come up to object. Click duplicate. Change this to a point one. And we're going to come up here and we're going to do about 90. Click OK. Let's see what that gets us. Oh, that should be that should be good. Come up here to edit, select all, effects, object on path, OK. Yep. And of course, it looks like we have just a little bit too many here. And what you can do is you can let's see, let's select them all, and you have to do this twice normally why I don't know but you just have to and you can come in here and pick each one of them out and just start separating them and I find it's better to have too many than too little it's just easier to deal with okay so you just come in and pick out the extra ones it doesn't take too awful long but that's how you do it okay just like this and then you just delete them Because if you try to add to them, you have to make sure you follow the curve. But they can be added, and it's best to just add them by hand, but it's always easier to take away. So let's get these out of here. Didn't do too awful bad. And this one. Okay, there we go. So now they're all over here. Let's get rid of them. Okay, that looks good. Oops, you know what? Let's regroup these. There we go. So put them back together. Okay, so now let's come down here. Let me send this out of here. Let's just select those. Someone had asked me how you do this. Well, you come to over here to this these are your I call them my size arrows and you just click it down once and that shrinks it okay so if that looks good that's fine you may have to ungroup it and come in here and pull those out a little bit right if that's not the way you want it or you can select the heart and blow it up a little bit bigger okay it's not too difficult to figure that one out, all right? So that's how you do it in um, Scale. Now I want to show you how to go about doing this in Canvas. Now it's a little bit different in Canvas. Canvas is really limited um, in what you can do, but let's head on over there if I can get this okay. Okay, so here we are in Canvas. Let's make ourselves a big heart here. All right, so. Oh, you can come up here to edit your offset. Click OK. Nope. Wrong day button rating. Well, let's see if I can get this inside one. No, I want the inside one. Okay, so now we have the inside one. And come down here, and you can pick whatever line you want, okay? So now, sorry. Now you have your outside line with your inside dash. And I already have videos done on this, um, but 
I figured I'd just go ahead and throw this one on the end here. So that's how you go about doing that um, in Canvas. All right, guys. Um, and there is, hang on, let me pull this one up. You can also do this vice versa. You can start with this. You can bring this up. And you can go outward with this. And it creates the outside part of it too. Okay. So that's how you do it in Canvas. All right. If you guys have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.